On our show, we've talked a lot about social soft software that you would use at work. Things like Yammer, Salesforce Chatter, and Convo is the one we're seeing right now. What the other guys don't do is uh, let you do actual work and actually link into graphics and, and talk about actually getting work done. And that's what ex excites me about this company. We're going to talk to them right now, Convo. <laughs> Who are you? Uh, so my name is Fazan Buzdar, uh, and uh, I'm the founder and CEO of the company Scribe. We have launched a product uh, called Convo. Uh, I started this company back in Pakistan, and in that sense, it's a unique company where uh, it transitioned into a Silicon Valley fund, uh, company and was eventually funded by Adobe and other investors here in Silicon Valley. Very cool. Um, I already pitched you as being a competitor of Yammer and Salesforce Chatter, and VMware has social cast, right? That, those, that's the competitive landscape you're in. What makes you different and, and why should people care about or companies care about what you're doing? So if you look at most of these products, they quickly become about chit chat, right? They're a water cooler conversation. And most of the time, the products uh, don't have enough structure built into them to enable uh, the conversation that is needed at the workplace. In some sense, uh, you could say that uh, there was a lot of hype in the market and a number of players just pushed ahead. And it's almost as if social is a religion that everybody should get and not question what all they can do there, right? In our case, we focused a lot in terms of not just having a stream of activity, but being able to talk about pieces of work. So what's unique is that you may be looking at a PDF, which, has, which is an RFP, and you look at a line and say, I disagree, you just select that and say that. It shows up in a Facebook-like stream, but every comment can point to specific portions in a PDF, in an image, in a PowerPoint, in a video. So now you're talking about pieces of work, and that has been enabled for the first time. Nobody else does that in the manner that we do it. Yeah, so if, if I'm talking about, a, let's say, a, an article on the next web, which is you know a 2,000 word article, can I link into like a quote and say, man, did you just see what Tim Cook said in this article? Exactly, or? exactly. So that's, that's the exact uh, quality of conversations that we enable. Uh, for anybody whose daily business is working on things on the web, and it's, it's much more than articles, right? So people who have listings on eBay, they want to talk about all the links that they share are eBay because that's the core of their business. There are people who are programmers, people who are designers. In our case, onboarding of a new person is much more easy because all the links that were shared, they're not lost in email, they're actually shared, and that's public content, but there is SSL encrypted enterprise comments that were made by your coworkers that point to specific things. Hey, use this command, look at this example of how somebody stopped a memory leak, or look at this button and how it was designed, and so on. So that, that, that's, a, that's the quality of that conversation is just immensely more than just a Twitter-like stream. Yeah. Can you do this for uh, like PowerPoints or Excel documents yeah, yeah. or so, spreadsheets or Word documents? Yeah, so we enable that for about 30 file formats. So we do it for PDFs, we do it for Word, PowerPoint, Excel, we do it for PSDs, we do it for some not so frequently used formats. Very cool. And uh, how did, how, are you using uh, the same model that Yammer and, and Cheddar are using, the viral model to get pe people to try it? for free and then uh, you get your coworkers on it. Exactly. And then exactly. if you need, what features do I have to start paying for? That's, that's <laughs> the trick, right? Because right. we can use it for free for a while and then uh, right, what, right. what do we need to pay for? So what happens is that, so we have thousands of businesses signed up uh, since we launched uh, last year. And what happens is that somebody hears about the product, starts using it, invites his coworkers, starts to get value out of it, right? And we deliver a lot of value for free, right? All these commenting capabilities, all these file collaborations, the iPhone app, the Android app, desktop notifications, all of those things are included in that. We don't even charge for storage. So, but the, the good thing is that when you need administrative features, when the user in the company has grown to a level where the company wants to own the administration of those features. So if you want to appoint three administrators, be able to do e-discovery, be able to uh, search across content, make sure that you're looking at everybody's content and saying that hey, that's complied, uh, some special security settings, all of that bundle is $5 per user per month. So whenever, it's, and even at that, it's not really, it's not 
as costly. And for really huge enterprises, we, we do discounts. No, that's really cool. You've announced a lot of stuff in the last month. What 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 did you just announce in the last month or two? Right. So in the in the, in the last uh, two months, we have seen we started out originally as a desktop app because we think we thought that those two features are really important for engagement: the drag and drop of files and the desktop notifications. Uh, we launched a web app which has uh, a lot of the features of the desktop app that are, that are possible in the browser. And then we launched a uh, iPhone app with notifications and then an Android app with notifications. So all of that, that's been some work that we've been chugging at for quite some time and all of that uh, uh, product pipeline has been pushed out in the last month. Yeah. And then you just announced uh, API as well. Exactly, right? so we've just uh, announced an API, we've given it to a couple of customers and those customers are building their custom integrations. So with an API, what you can do is, again, remember we want them to talk about pieces of work. So if you are working in a product, if you have something internal, you might have a desktop product, you might have an, you have an enterprise product, you might have a web product that actually generates item that you want to talk about. Because we can talk about anything that's available in the browser, all you need to do is push an item into the feed which people can comment, like, or share further, and that starts its own workflow, right? So we have seen examples of workflow where for example, one of the biggest uh, real estate agencies in the U.S. is starting is starting to use us. When, when in terms of workflow examples, you will see something come into the feed. Then somebody sharing that with somebody, it just means that now you're ready to work on it. And then commenting and liking on it is all uh, is uh, our enterprise processes that are enabled by this flow. So with the API, you can push in stuff that are specific to you, and get the benefits of our collaboration and notifications. Yeah. What what are you learning from doing this, and, and uh, how do you think the market is shifting or or shaking up? So the I think this is uh, as you know everybody knows this is a huge huge category huge category. Uh, it is unclear who the biggest winner will be, or even if there will be one Facebook like winner. I suspect that there won't be just because of the enterprise boundary, right? Because the network effect is contained, right? A few thousands of people use it, use it in, a, in an organization, but that does not cause the same network effect as those very same thousands of people on Facebook, right? Yeah. Uh, so you, then you start making functionalities like inviting guests and groups and clients and communities, which is, which is basically to, to increase the viral effect. But I think this is a huge category. I think every business that has email today will be using some social network within the next two or three years. So if you look at it, in some way it's about, uh, there, there are about 800 million email addresses which are business email addresses. And I think with all the competitors combined, today about 10 million people are served. Yeah. So there's a lot, a lot of hype, but if you look at the actual seat penetration, um, so for example, one of our competitors has uh, four million users, right? But it, they spent $70 million uh, getting to that. Yeah. Uh, so, and but now I think awareness it's, has just awareness has just gone through the roof in the last two years. So the category is here, the category is here to to stay, and I think there is a lot of potential for growth. Yeah, yeah I met you over at Rocket Space. What what is that, and and uh, wh how does that help you build your business? I guess. So Ro Rocket Space has been great for us because it's a turnkey solution for companies. So. Uh, I remember we were looking to set up an office in Boston some time back, and then when uh, when we were looking to set up an office here, you're, you're going through like so many things and so many small things. Right? You want to make sure that everybody has coffee, everybody has cold drinks. You want to, <laughs> we want to set up all the infrastructure of an office, and in this case, what happens is you just walk in, you hire your people, and you are focusing on working and building your business rather than the logistics of really small things. And I think that 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 is that is something that maybe a lot of entrepreneurs miscalculate the hassle of all these small little things that you will have to do if you want to set up your your office space for something less than fifty people for something less than twenty people, and uh, th that just accelerates your getting to the next milestone if you're not worrying about these small little things. Yeah. So I think it's a great idea. Very cool. Where do we learn more about you and your company? You go to convo.com, and uh, that's where you will have all the information about about the company. Very cool, thank you so much. Thank you. Mm -hmm.